You know what? It looks like some simple platforming. You know, like what you'd see in like Lucky's Tale on, uh, you know, or um, you know that one uh, that one game that we that we all know and love. Mark, really? And you got hurt? What that looked like it should have been easy. Stop messing up! You know, uh, listen, uh, you're not gonna impress me if you, if you, if you get through this. It's pretty simple. Goddamn! Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> okay, l let's just get this over with, please. Oh, fuck! Well, I guess it's apparently harder than it looks. Fucking that fucking jump! God damn! That was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough though. Ads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right. You have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna... Gonna throw up. You really help me? Oh gee, I'm I'm so grateful. Follow me. You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't even worry. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. God, my poor family. My wife, Plimmy. My kids, Swoopy and Froopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. I, I should be able to spin those pipes around by shooting them. Any old shot would work. You're really gonna do it. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. The day I married my wife, Plimmy, was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on! You're too you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dragtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Done. We finished this shit. We are out. Fuck. <sighs> okay. What, what, what is this? Congratulations to all of the world who made it this hard in your training. It is now time for the final test. A bloody free for all. Last one standing gets to join the team three. No rules. Yeah. Good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know. Fight some more guys.
like somebody's pet. Kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. Oh, I'd love to help, but these chemicals are too slippery. Ew. 
this this one a little harder than the last one? How can I repay you? Uh, should I tip you? Uh, how much do you tip for helping solve a puzzle? Fifteen percent? Twenty? Do all the puzzle solvers pull their tips and? Amazing! Amazing! You did it again! Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there! Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's whore and against violent violence. That means he's just see a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment program. Hey, it's an asshole who's been fucking with their training exercise. Oh shit, here we go. What's up? Nice to see you again, partner. You been hiding from me? Oh, 
down. We got a grenade going to blow. You know, I, I, I guess I don't. I don't know. It's I, I, I'm I, I'm I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it. This is what love does to a person. Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? This puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember, every second you take solving this is another second Douglas might be torturing and killing my family! Yes! You're halfway there! Keep going, you can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy!
I got faith in you, man. You ready, partner? Some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh! Ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on. Use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not oh, shit. Good. I think that's I'm a photo of the famous dude who invented translator micro. Why the fuck does he know Doug? We're over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are going to start heating up all over the galaxy. You want to fuck the these guys up? These things are uh, happening, you're Douglas. Really not Then finish him off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? 
See what else this time bubble can do? Quick, cross that! The time bubble doesn't last forever, you know. Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystal. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlian. You turn in the bounce Don't do that. We can wrap this up. Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. But, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Who was that with you? Did you get a new Gatlin? Yeah, the name's Sweezy. Get used to it, you old fuck. Ooh, he's in intensive care. That's room 203 down the hall. Okay, thank you. Come on, turn in that bounty already. I gotta show you this. Good. Get over here. What did he do to you? Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you'd go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with.
What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Oh, my God. Oh. What did he do to you? Concessions guy, I like to sell you illegal stuff over here. Illegal shit. This guy is talking my language. Yo, Mr. Keep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait. Not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. The longer you take it here, the longer I have to look like I give a shit. Took you long enough, the concrete I parts dried out. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate Mr. Keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a cat nap in. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep.
All right, partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Just trying to. Nice, Whoa. nice! It's personal for him. Clug, Clug walked in on me and his daughter having really beautiful and energetic sex. More energetic than you'd expect from someone my age. And he came in and he said, No, 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 this can't be happening to me. Ah, ah. And he went on like that for a while. And then next next day he went on the news and he said he's going to stop the geriatrics from being so horny. Well, guess what, Clug Nugman? We're here. We're horny. Whoops. Get over it. Uh, maybe let's try that again. Hey, it's me. I'm Jimmy Goopster. Welcome to another prank call show with me, the Goopster. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fuck more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? You gonna... Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here while you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. Well, geez, I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister, and I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow, 
Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Gene, baby! care, but just to be polite, where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful, that place is freaky. Cool, again, don't really care. Jetpack across this or what? Nice! You crossed a big gap. You want me to order you a trophy off of Delarmo Prime? Good, this is the right path. If it isn't, I'll freak out. Fuck yeah! Sweezy time! for let me get some beauty sleep in. Hey, don't forget about my time bug. 
so uh, you know, what, what do you think Scrando Labs is like? I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. You know. personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me, it's fucking Helen! Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But, sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're, uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 And I don't care about you. I am a simple man, but they pay me to tell them the intruder show up, so I do it. Oh shit, here they come! You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now!
shit, okay, good good job. All right, now let's take a look around this place, you know, let's see what kind of experiments they're doing here. Okay, well, that's unsettling. Has baby sponsor? Better better man than all of life in the universe. Holy shit, what are they doing to them? Are, are, are they dead? We're just rifling around in your guts real quick. Hee <laughs> hee This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man. Or, or maybe a hurdle. I don't, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. It looks like a Fergal sitting on a dead human. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? This is one of the Grendel's offices? Hello, Jonathan. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua as I'd provide it. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. Let's get those fuckers. These are Gatlians! Fuck! Hey, dipshit! That Gatlian's alive! Oh, hey! You look nice! My name's Creature! The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad! In basically every way you can imagine! Holy shit, am I glad to see another Catlian alive in here! Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no! They take good care of me! Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Saying it out loud, I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. That's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us! Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh yeah! That's one of my children! They die fast! Don't worry! It's easy to make more, and it feels good! God, I love them so much!
was that? Was that helpful? Was it helpful that I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? Control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for us. Oh shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shit hands. They do not listen. put me in an airtight crate whenever they take me outside. I really liked it. Oh, I could help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. This is fun! Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, Bounty Hunter? Great. We should always do that. Oh, you save these prisoners 
why we're here. Help us. Humans? I'm new, so I don't know if think you could just come down in here and fuck with me. You know who I am? I'm Jonathan fucking Scrandall, aka the Hog Scrandall Brother. Up yours! Oh, hey, Jonathan. I think we're gonna kill you. Time to throw in the towel and let ourselves get captured, I guess. <laughs>